Gotcha! <gasps> Welcome back to another episode on Behold Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look and review a game I forgot I even owned. Recore the Definitive Edition. With the Xbox One in dire need of single-player game adventures in comparison to the PlayStation 4, Recore was somewhat of an answer from Japanese developer Kenji Afune. The game was shown to be a budget title around $40 at release and it is an action-adventure platforming game. Having interest from the trailer as the main character fights with a mechanical dog, I purchased the game but I never truly played the game as my intention was always on Quantum Break at the time. Years later, I saw this game on Game Pass and decided to give the game a go ahead and play through and see how this game performs, but this time on PC. Recore was developed by Concept and released by Microsoft's Game Studios in 2016 for the Xbox One and Microsoft Windows. The game takes place in a dystopian future where a disease called the Dust Devil Plague ravages the Earth. With life on Earth doomed, they find a new planet called Far Eden to travel to and start a new life. Hey kiddo, if you get this message before you go to sleep, sweet dreams. If not, wake up already. It's been 200 years. <laughs> Listen, I just wanted to tell you I've got a little more work to do here. But they're holding a space for me on the next evacuation fleet. And I'll meet you on Far Eden. Just like I promised. Don't worry, Jewel. Everything's going according to plan. I know, Mac. Nothing is going according to plan. My name is Jewel. This is where the main character, Jules, picks up the story as she awakens by herself in a land with corrupted corbots as enemies. Solving puzzles with finding power cells, Jules and her trusty robo-dog, Mac. Doing so, Jules is able to discover plans from her father and just what happened to all the colonists. The gameplay here is your standard third-person shooter with a cool dynamic. Once your enemy's life is almost depleted, Jules can send a hook to grab the core of the enemy and pull it out, finishing the enemy even faster. The rest of the gameplay offers the usual dodge and fire scenario. The shooting is fast and frantic with the automatic locks on the enemy it takes a lot of fun out of the aiming yourself on your own in other third person shooters. You are also given different weapon colors that correspond with the enemy core bot and causes more damage when they are matched up. Just like yellow, yellow, blue, blue, red to red. The visuals here are nice and pushes the Unity engine quite far, but it's still seen as a budget title and doesn't really push anything we haven't seen before. The designs here are much nicer and helps take the simple looking environments further than originally thought. The enemies animation overall look awesome with their unique designs as well. The soundtrack here is a nice surprise and although traveling in a desolate land, the music is wonderfully made that pumps you up to push through. The controls are very responsive as you play at a blistering 60 frames per second. The game is fast and very responsive. The biggest con here is the repetitiveness on what you need to do to keep moving forward. The game lets you do the same exploration and platforming which will test your skills, double jumping and boosting every which way. You will find gates and doors to progress through that only can be opened by power cells that Jules needs to find. Now I need to extract the core. One down, two more to go. 
There is no way around the puzzles to progress, as each time will require more power cells and so many different platforming areas to jump to to get them. Platform is also fun and is also extremely tense at times as you try to get through dungeons that are all just platforming. Not impossible, but more on the frustrating side of things. In the end, the story here is what really keeps you going and pushes you through the end. The character interactions are fine, and the character development in this world building mystery is also done well enough to care about Jules and Mac. Unfortunately, to get there, there is a lot of repetition here that really is hard to keep pushing without losing interest. How about you? East or West Coast? West. Southern Sector. I heard that got bad. You lose anyone close? My mom. Now I'm sorry. ReCore, the Definitive Edition, gets a 7.0 out of 10 for its budget adventure that will surprise you in its very nicely designed world, but it kills you that makes you repeat tasks and puzzles over and over till the very end. That's it for this look at Record. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. I can barely see you guys on my crawler's cameras. You've got to be hundreds of feet above the ground. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.